Okay, okay. Hey guys. So as you can see, today we're going to be making a far more complicated object. Not just a simple table or a chair or a mug. We're gonna be making a full detailed Lego, which is super fun. And um, it follows like pretty similar mechanics to um, the dice or the domino that we did. So if you haven't already done those, I would advise you to go back and model those guys first um, this one's kind of a step up from that one. So this Lego's got some really cool kind of features on the bottom and things like that. So we just want to make sure that you are all caught up. <laughs> so go ahead and make a new scene. First thing you're going to be doing is making a cube. So I think I made my cube um, 8 by 2 by 4. So you can just change that over on the right. And then do your divisions below that exactly the same. Okay, looks good. So next thing we're going to be doing is making those pegs on the top. So go into face mode and then select uh, going like a zigzag like this. If you remember from the dice and the domino, you can't select the ones right next to each other or else they'll combine into one, which you don't want to do. So um, go ahead and extrude and offset by 0.5. And then you're going to do edit mesh, circularize. I had to change my twist to be 45 so that they're straight. I don't know why, but if yours does that, just mess around with the twist. Um, and the next thing you're going to do is offset by 0.1, and then you can do extrude again and change the thickness to 0.5. So now we're just going to do the same exact thing for the other ones. And then we're going to have eight pegs. Super easy. Extrude, offset by 0.5. Edit Mesh Circularize, change your twist if you need to, and then extrude again, offset by 0.1, extrude again, and change thickness to 0.5. That way they're all even. So next thing we're going to be doing is selecting those bottom faces to hollow out our Lego, since Legos have uh, the little pieces in the bottom so that they connect on each other. Go into Object Mode, Extrude, and then change your thickness by... Let's see, I'm trying to decide if I want to go in, do negative, or if I want to stay out and not have to reverse the mesh. Okay, go in, negative 0.25, go into object mode like this, do mesh display, reverse it. Okay, here we go. So the inside should not be black. If it's black, you did something wrong. So now go into face mode and click those guys um i don't think you can do them all together so we'll just do these side ones first and then we'll do the middle one um so next we're going to be um i think let's first extrude it and offset it by like 0.3 and then we'll circularize that 0.3 so edit mesh circularize change your twist so that it's normal. Mine might be 45 again. Ooh, no, it wasn't. Okay, let's try 50. Or click and drag to see when it becomes. Okay, it needs to be lower, apparently. Let's try 30. Lower. 25. This is one thing that I don't like about the circularize function is that occasionally mine will do this weird function like that. Okay, let's try 21. And then it's all just like a guessing game of how it should look. I think that looks good. Maybe like one more. Maybe that's what it should be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try 23. I don't know. All right. That seems like it overcorrected itself. So. Oh, man. This is. It gets so complicated. I think I'm going to leave it at 23. I think that looks fine. Also, it doesn't really matter, but you know, I like to be exact, you know? Okay, so go ahead and extrude, and then you can change your thickness to like 1.75, maybe. Just don't go over. That's the main thing. Try and go to the very edge of your um, Lego. And then extrude again and offset by 0.1. And then extrude and do a negative thickness of like... 1.9 it's just that you're pushing it in too far don't go that far 
1.9. You don't want it to be black like this. So you got to see the bottom. 1.9 seems good for me. <clears throat> All right, so now we just have to do the exact same thing for that um, middle guy. So select that, circularize. Oh no, don't circularize. Offset it by 0.3. Then you circularize and change your twist. I changed my twist to 23. Not sure what it'll be for you guys. Um, and then go ahead, extrude again and offset it by point one. I think I did. Yeah. And then extrude, change your thickness to, oh no, 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 don't, don't offset. Extrude, change your thickness to 1.75 then extrude and offset it in 0.1, then extrude and change your thickness to negative 1.9. There we go. Now they're all even, looks good. Okay, so next thing we're going to be doing is um, if, if you wanna change, so you know how Legos have that weird like wall going down the middle? I kinda thought that maybe I would add that in, but I'm a little scared to. I think what I am going to do is I'm going to add it in. I'm just going to do two different ones using a cube. And we'll just clip the cube. So it's not, you know, it's not part of the object technically, but it like kind of is. You, you guys know what I mean. Okay. You also want to, oh, don't do that. You also want to make sure that this guy fully touches the ground. So, maybe like that would be good. Make sure he doesn't poke out on any sides and then duplicate him and just push him uh, this way to be the second guy. Perfect. That's what I really enjoy about clipping is that you don't have to be exact about it and it just works like that. Um, we will need to bevel those, um, so just keep that in mind. Um, so I think really the only thing we need to do now, that's basically a Lego. Really all we have to do is just bevel all the edges so that everything stays the same. Um, and yeah, you can press three to kind of see how it'll round out. It rounds out a little weird because we haven't beveled anything yet. So um, just stick with me and let's go through, select your edges on the top. Just keep double clicking on the edge. And then make sure you didn't select any other ones. And then do control B for bevel, do two segments. And then maybe change the fraction to be a little bit tighter, like 0.15. Legos tend to be pretty tight, so maybe like that. I would even do like 0.1. Yeah. And then select the bottom one, do the same thing, two segments. Um, maybe make it point maybe and then bevel this inside edge two segments small fraction and then bevel these guys on the inside so you stick with your 90 degrees bevel it two segments Okay, and then we got to go through and bevel all these circles in the ground. So, just hold shift and double click on all of them to select them all. Okay, two segments, small fraction. And then we gotta bevel all these guys. So do the same thing, hold shift, and just hold them all. Two segments, small fraction. That actually probably is good, yeah. And then you gotta bevel the bottom of these guys as well, because it's a 90 degree angle. And make that one small, because it's literally like coming out of the round. Yeah, okay. I think that's good for the inside. Let's um, bevel these walls. Actually, I should just combine these meshes. Go into object mode. 
select those objects, do edit mesh or mesh combine, hide the Lego first, then select the edges. That way you can do like the whole thing at once. I think you should be able to do the whole thing at once. We'll try. If not, then we'll go back and do it the hard way. Just don't select the corners, basically. Okay, control B. Oh yeah, you can do it. You're good. Two segments, small fraction. Click three. Hmm. 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 Do object mode. Mesh smooth. Okay, so that's not what I want. Let's add multi cuts. Try to make them be actual squares. <laughs> so just add some multi cuts. Be even. Be consistent. That's better. Okay, okay. Um, click Q. Go into edge mode. No, not UV. There you go. Edge mode and select those four edges. Maybe that's what we need to bevel. Maybe we should have beveled that at the beginning. Um, control bevel, two segments. Better, okay, that's what we'll do. You can go ahead and unhide the uh, thingy by doing shift H. And then um, we got to finish beveling the rest of the Lego. So that's what it looks like right now. We need to bevel all these top guys. So hold shift, double click. This one takes a while um, just because there's so many uh, edges on these guys. Um, but it looks much better after you bevel it, so it's worth it. We also do need to select um, the ones on the bottom. So select those as well, okay? Almost done. This should be our last step, really. Make sure you got all of them. Control B, add two segments. And then if that looks good with you, leave it. Um, if you wanna tighten it up, go ahead and make your fraction smaller. Um, Kind of up to you. So next we're going to go through and select these edges and bevel those. Control B, two segments. And then that should be about it for your Lego. Yeah. I am noticing that like the edge does something weird here but it's not the worst thing in the world. I would even not bevel it. Maybe it looks better without it. Or bevel it and do it to, to your preference. That's what I would do. Do what you think looks best. All right, so basically that's just how to make a simple Lego. If you guys have any other ideas, um, let me know. You can make these taller, wider, anything. You can adjust the numbers however you want. Um, before I forget, make sure you bevel these inside cylinders uh, because those are also 30 degrees. So you gotta bevel all of your 30 degree angles, basically. Or not 30, all of your 90 degree angles. Um, I know it gets annoying, but that's, that's kind of just how 3D modeling goes sometimes. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Um, and then hopefully next time we'll make another complicated object, maybe like a walkie talkie um, or a fridge or some, something cool. I'm trying to get to the more complicated objects so that we have some cooler objects to texture eventually. Um, I think what I'm going to end up doing is... Um, texturing all of these objects in like a series. So uh, make sure you're saving all of your um, models if you plan to do that with me. If not, delete your models, doesn't matter to me. Um, but yeah, all right, that looks better. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. 
uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions let me know um, but for now I'll see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>